Hi all, in this video we will see how to sync the GitHub issues to Azure boards through GitHub Actions. In my previous video you would have seen how to integrate between uh, GitHub repos and the Azure boards using the Azure boards app or the GitHub uh, connection settings, right? So uh, now we will see how to uh, sync the GitHub issues what we create in GitHub and to the Azure boards. So it is basically like when I create a GitHub issue, uh, it should go and create a new work item in Azure boards. And whenever I, you know, change the state of GitHub issue, it should go and update the Azure boards. So let's see how that can be done. Basically, the prerequisites are like we should have the Azure DevOps organization with the team project, then we should have the GitHub account in the repo and we should have already installed the Azure Boards app which is from the GitHub Marketplace. So all these things are already done. Uh, we have seen in the previous video. So let's go ahead with the task one. Uh, basically, uh, uh, this, this synchronization is achieved using a GitHub Actions. Okay, so whenever a issue work item or the GitHub issue is created or saved, uh, the GitHub Actions will be triggered which again you know uh, fetches the uh, github issue details and uh, connects to the azure uh, you know uh, board and the team project we have uh, given in the uh, settings then you know creates the work item in azure devops so all this uh, you know the set of actions uh, will be uh, you know uh, done by github actions so the entire workflow will set up then we'll see how it will uh, you know automatically uh, creates a work item in Azure DevOps. So basically we'll go to the GitHub marketplace and under the GitHub actions section we'll search for the you know uh, DevOps word then we have a particular uh, you know uh, GitHub action available which is again um, uh, developed by Dan Hallam. Uh, we'll select that then you know uh, there is already a YAML script given the workflow for the uh, GitHub action. So we'll copy that and create a new GitHub action and you know paste the uh, the script. Then replace uh, wherever like you know Azure DevOps related things like uh, your DevOps organization, team project, and optionally we can even set up the area path where the work item should be created in which area path. Either it can be a default which is under team project area path or to any specific area path. So let's see how to set up this. This is my GitHub organization and the uh, repo and uh, uh, this is my Azure DevOps uh, organization and the team project. Okay, so we are going to use the same uh, projects as uh, we have seen in the previous video. So let me click on this marketplace. Then under actions, let me search for DevOps word or I can say issues and DevOps and I can say this GitHub issues to Azure DevOps. So basically this 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 GitHub action will sync the GitHub issue to Azure boards. Click on that. So the steps are given here and let's copy the script first, the YAML script. and come back to the repo go to the action section then select on this set up a workflow yourself and delete everything and paste the content what we copied okay so we are going to replace the organization name the project name Right, so let's do that. So this is the organization name. And this is the project name. And we can define the area path here or we can remove it. Because it's an optional and here we are saying it should be a 
work item type user story and states are new and closed so we can verify it so this follows an agile template and you can see here it will be always a user story okay so if it is a scrum or any other template then for example for scrum it will be a product backlog item then in that case we have to replace that value here as product backlog item or if you want to create a task whenever a github issue is uh, created here in github we want to create a task work item in azure devops then we have to mention that work item type and the states for the first state and the last state that is new and closed so uh, we have uh, created this file so next uh, let's see what is the next uh, step so the next step is to create the you know uh, secrets or tokens so basically the azure devops pat and the github token uh, let's create those things and uh, put it in the file and you know uh, save it commit it so that's it the, the sync will be set up and then we can go and create a, a issue in github and see that you know uh, we get to uh, see the new work item in azure boards yeah so let's see how to do this so to get the uh, azure devops uh, a pad let, let's go to the azure devops then i can click on user settings then select personal access tokens and i can click on new token and give a name here i will say adio github sync okay then we can select the expiration we can say custom defined and select the whatever end date is there okay and we have to give the scope so we can define uh, for this uh, it will be work items read and write okay and click on create once the uh, pad is generated uh, copy it uh, you know uh, to the notepad later we'll see way to you know uh, put that code so similarly let's see how to create uh, the uh, token for the github okay so for that we have to go to settings in the settings the last option developer settings and the personal access token and we can say generate a new token and again here we will give the the name or the node for the token and we will select as the scope as repos so once we click on generate token uh, we again get a token so we will copy that also to notepad once we have generated the pad in azure devops and the token in github uh, we'll go to the uh, settings of the repo and uh, we will you know uh, let's see how to uh, have these secrets created let me go here in the repo let me go to the settings and here i can see the secrets option right so let me click on that and create a new secret here so let me click on new secret okay so we have to give the secret name so you can see this same thing we have to give secrets dot whatever is the token name and paste your azure devops pad here once once you paste the uh, pad you can click on add secret so you can see that one secret is created so similarly we'll create for github token click on new secret then uh, same thing copy the name the secret name here then paste the github token what we copied what we generated and once you paste that click on add secret so 
we have uh, both the secrets created. So we are done with all the settings here. So let me click on start commit and commit directly to the master file. So the sync, the setup for the sync is done. Now let's create a GitHub issue and see how uh, this will go and create a work item in Azure Boards. So I'll just give a title and uh, click on submit new issue and we can observe the action being triggered here and we can see that the action is completed let me go to azure devops and i can see here a new work item is created sync issue with azure boards work item id 727 and i can see the same details here and here also there is a link created automatically so this is how uh, you know whenever i create a uh, issue in uh, github automatically a work item is created in azure devops so now let's say i edit this and again uh, save and if i go to Azure DevOps, let me refresh this and uh, you can see that uh, you know, it has uh, updated. Okay, so the same thing is available here. So this is how you know the uh, the data is transferred or synced between uh, I mean from the uh, GitHub issue to the Azure boards. So now let me close uh, uh, this issue and uh, let's see how uh, you know uh, this will be updated in Azure DevOps also. And you can see it went from uh, new to close state. And we can see all the comments here, the kind of history here. So it was created, then it was closed. Uh, even in the history also, we can see that. So this is how uh, you know uh, we can sync uh, the GitHub issues to Azure DevOps work items, and this is possible using the actions. Yeah, so GitHub Actions are not just like a, a you know, or, or just a, a build and release pipelines. With GitHub Actions, you can do you know a lot of things. Like one example is this, where uh, I can capture the uh, you know the GitHub issue save uh, event, then get the, all the details and you know go and uh, you know create a work item in Azure Boards or any other things we can do using GitHub Actions. Thank you for watching the video.